Joining me today, I have Kyle Gagner with Off the Charts Music Festival. He is the director there. Thank you so much, Kyle, for joining us. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So you're actually not too far, although you are in the United States of America. Um, I would love to hear, when it comes to Off the Charts Music Festival, of course, in Cavalier, North Dakota, who is coming this year? It's going to be a doozy. We're welcoming back for the second time Sidewalk Profits. They were here a few years ago. We're having KB come. Uh, we've also got a fellow named Stephen Stanley, a fellow named Sean Rodriguez, uh, a fellow who goes by the name True Serba, uh, among others. We have others that are coming as well. So it, it's going to be a stacked lineup. It's going to be a great night. Absolutely. We play Sidewalk Profits on our station, uh, Stephen Stanley. I'm not quite sure we play KB, but I definitely know who that is. I really enjoy it. And I got to say, I'm a huge Stephen Stanley fan. So he's great. Uh, yeah, I'm looking yeah, forward that to looks, that one. looks amazing. What is the date of this Off the Charts Music Festival? The dates for this year's event are August 17th and 18th, Saturday and Sunday. Nice. Okay. So I have to assume, you know, here in Manitoba, Cavalier is not that far away from us. Like I said, um, it's not. how many Manitobans grace the fields of Off the Charts Music Festivals Let often? Let me tell you, not enough. We need more. <laughs> there are a lot that come. We Every year, I, I also do MC duty. So I'll ask how many of you are from the U.S. and how many of you are from Canada? And probably half of the group raised their hand when I ask about the maple leaf folks from the north. <laughs> but we can always use more, and it's not that far. So if you're in Winnipeg, it's an easy hour and a half drive, depending on how much hassle you get at the border. Anything south of Winnipeg, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump. And our border friends, they they love you guys. They want you to come down here and see us. So it's easy to get here. Absolutely. I think that's a great invitation. When it comes to Canadians going down there, if they're thinking, maybe you want to stay overnight, are there options overnight? There are, yeah. So if you like to camp, we have a beautiful state park just six miles to the west of our town. You can bring your camper, your tent, whatever you'd like to stay in, uh, Icelandic State Park. We've got some hotels and some Airbnbs in town. There's some others around our community. So there's plenty of places to stay if you wanted to make a weekend of it. The main event happens all on Saturday. So the, the main stage is all going to happen on Saturday. The following day on Sunday is a community worship service which is a really neat time to get gather back together and just worship together in the, in the same place where we partied the night before. So Kyle, when it comes to the Off the Charts Music Festival, what is your favorite aspect of this whole thing? Wow. Um, you know, it, it takes a lot of work to put on an event, as I'm sure most folks can appreciate. But when we get to the event and we can look at all of the folks gathered together and literally watch the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of earth intersect and watch the Holy Spirit move throughout the city park of Cavalier and just see people encouraged uh, and enjoying themselves. And just, and to see that moment is so encouraging to, to me and to my other folks that help our other folks that help plan this event. So my favorite part is the event itself, just being there and being a part of it and, and enjoying that collision of heaven and earth. Absolutely. If people have never attended, uh, what can they expect with this festival? Uh, only wonderful things, mostly. Uh, it's free, so it doesn't cost anything. It's a lovely way to uh, ha have an out, uh, an outing and, and not have to have a lot of out of your pocket. So you don't really need to bring much. We have food vendors there. If you want to eat, you can bring your own food. It's in the city park. So it's like going to the park with your buds or with your family, but there is a huge giant stage and video board and speakers that are blasting amazing music all day long. If you've got kids, we've got inflatable games that your kids can go and run and play on and get sweaty and stinky and full of sand. Uh, there is, I mean, it's just a lovely time. It's it's a lovely, wonderful family event. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a whole family event. You're playing Christian music. You're sharing the good news. I think that's amazing. And so. I got to, I got to say, I've never been, my brother has gone many years I think we're going to come this year for real. We're, we're planning on it. And you need uh, to do it. Or, or, you know, I'm yeah. going to pick on you a little bit because down here we have a lot of folks named Johnson. And so we assume they're all related, but we had what I'm going to say is your brother, Jordan Saints here, yes. here a few years ago. I don't even, even know if you guys are related, but <laughs> he was here. So now you need to follow up and come. Are you guys exactly. related? Yes. He is my brother-in-law. It's true. No way. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, we, well, he was here. So now you need to follow suit. I had no idea, yeah. actually. That's hilarious. I just guessed <laughs> because the names match. Yes. What a wonderful small world. And that is true. It's like, you can't always assume that, but this time it's true. Jordan um, is a peach. Yeah. yeah. So now well, it's your turn. <laughs> Kyle, it's been such a pleasure. Is there anything else that you want to share with your Canadian uh, fans and listeners? Uh, we love you. We're close to you. We're 14 miles or I don't know, 20 clicks as you guys say, but we're not far. <laughs> Please come and see us. Check us out on the internet, otcnd.com. Go to Facebook. But listen, if you're just looking for a good time in August, come on down for Saturday. We'd love to have you join us for Sunday. I promise you won't be disappointed. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Kyle, for taking the time. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.